Generic greetings and welcome to Preserve Today's Beverages. A very nice Earl Grey and Lavender Tea. So welcome to the demo of Preserve. This is a chill puzzle game about creating a thriving ecosystem. Let's just go to play and jump straight in on this one. There is a European biome to play as well as a tutorial and a creative mode. Locked in demo is a savannah and marine biome. Let's just go to play and you have a classic mode or your puzzle mode. I'm just going to go with basically the standard mode here for this demo. Other modes are available in the full version I would assume and here here we go. So we start off with this dry barren landscape and we need to start to generate some points and we're going to use this heavy rainfall here to basically select a fairly big chunk of land and then that gets watered. We then get some points and then we unlock some more terrain. So I'm just going to rotate this around. Actually no, I'm just going to place it there and I'm going to use, like I said, the heavy rains to basically start to unlock a lot of this and that's going to give us more cards uh that's fine now i think i'm just going to use this standard actually i say standard real i'm going to place maybe this in here yep yeah, that's fine and maybe do some watering there and watering there otherwise known as rain and then we use single water tiles the rain tiles here to basically fill in the little gaps and i think that will suffice so we've been given a number of cards here and they tell you where they can be placed whether it be the highlands or lowlands. So the rocks, for example, uh, when you place them, they generate rocks, but they can only be placed on the high areas. So obviously rocks high up here, these bits here, but not down there. But down there, we can place things like, uh, what have we got here? We've got like a bit of, uh, oh, we've got like some grasslands. So let's place some of those there. And that looks quite nice. Let's continue on with the building of that. And the idea is you make this ecosystem and the bigger you make it, uh, the more you can then place some animals in it. So we've got uh, a bee, we can place some bees in there. And if you get three of a kind, you get a nice big bonus. Let me go ahead and place, oh, this is a very uh, rocky landscape. So I'm gonna place it maybe here, perhaps. I'm just gonna rotate it round to there. Yeah, that is now fine and I'm gonna hmm gonna say rain in rain in there and then fill the rest of it out these bits here these rocks I can't do anything with however because of how this is situated I can then create this biome like so and then we're gonna place a couple of goats in there that's gonna give us even more tiles expand the size so oh, I need one more of those to uh, place that let's just see what this is, I'm going to place that in there perhaps, maybe get some rain and then we're just going to, let's see, water this like so and I think it's time for potentially a bit of forest. I think we're going to go with some forest and I'm just going to start to place it around the back here because why not? And again, this is going to get us more points, which means more cards. In the forest, uh, we can't have bees. There's some more nice little flowers. We've got some grassland here, which I'm going to place in this corner. And that's where we'll be able to place some bees, I think. But let's just maybe... Actually, we'll keep it as a size 12. Bees, we need to go there. So we need some more flowers. That's the size 12. And then we get a plus 30 because it's three of a kind. Excellent. Let's also place this in here and along to there, which means the goats can go in. There is another three of a kind. So just increasing our points here, which is good. I'm just going to maybe place another one of these biomes bits in here like that. And then mm, I can connect them. I can put rocks around here if I need to, but it's probably best if I create separate ones. Oh, there's also water here as well, which I think like uh, increases the uh, bonus you have for the for the biomes but I'm not entirely sure let me just go ahead and go there and what can go in here the ball I've got a ball that can go in this area but there's only one of them and I'd like to do three of a kind so I don't know if that's the right way or not um let's just water over here uh I keep using the word water instead of rain but you know what it's a thing now and then there's some more there is some lovely Ah, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, so yeah, I'm just going to go around and place all of the, all of the flowers, because then we can go one, two, three bees, there's three of a kind, we now have another one of these, and I'm going to probably place it there, we've got some wolves, uh, two wolves actually, so maybe if we, maybe if we place stuff around here, we might get a better bonus, 
Um, like this and like that. But I think we... Oh, no. We're not maxed out, but we're getting close. Um, grassland. I don't need to increase the size of it. But I definitely want to place... Where they can go? Hmm... Definitely want to place in... Let's place in some balls and just hope I get another ball, which I have. Three of a kind. That's excellent. And... Oh, there's a beaver. Can that go in water? No. I think water just gives bonus points for stuff around it. And if we zoom in as well, we can see the animals. So we've got some boars in there. We've got bees around here. Uh, we've got bees around here. We've got some goats going through the mountains there. And more bees there as well. So, all good. Uh, right, so where do you want to go from here? Got some more forest. And I am going to just basically place forest in its own separate area. Because if I connect it up, it's not going to be what we want exactly. One, two, and oh, I need some more. I'm going to um, maybe rain over there. And we've got loads of rocks that we can place. So I'm just going to... How am I going to place these? I can't place them down on the lowlands, which is a big problem. Hmm. Could just build over there, because why not? And every time I place this stuff, it's going to give us more points anyway. Hmm, grasslands. Let's go around here, and that's going to give us even more points, which is good. I can connect these up like that, and then up and over if we do so desire. I'm just going to make this one big area. And we've been given some boars. I need a, another wolf. Oh, I've got another wolf. Right, so I'll just put that in there. And then another wolf in there. And that's another three of a kind. Okay, I think I'm getting close to my highest score. There's some beavers that we've placed down. Uh, there's some more rocks here, but the way I've placed them, it's I'd only just make this just bigger. Um, but then we won't be able to place anything else. But we are still getting points. And we're going to build over here. That's actually a biome that we can place in... What can we place there? We can place some wolves over there. I'll get rid of that one wolf card. And let's just build all the way around here. And then we've got sort of one remaining area that if I... Ooh, merging habitats. Ah, habitat unsustainable. So you can get those back. Right, okay. Interesting. That's a merge. So you merge them and... Yeah, it looks like it still stays. But you get some of them back. Or... Something like that. Not bad. Okay, well, that's what we have managed to build. Um, nice. That's pretty nice. We've got uh, 500, sorry, 658 points for building that. Let's go to next and finish. And that is basically that mode. Um, so that is the small there's also medium uh, puzzle wise we've got some different puzzles let's have a quick look at the puzzle mode puzzle mode is all about optimal placement you must score the required number of points with set hand of cards you will not expand the map or gain new cards so we have been given some yeah we need 117 points total and i'm just gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, I'm going to water those. And then naturally, all of this is going to become forest. And we're going to have to go with one of each. And we've got exactly the required amount, 117. Okay, you saved the natural diversity. All right, fair enough. Let's try this next one then. Hmm. This is... I've got one shot at, at, rain, at making it rain here. So I need to place 12 cards. So 1, 2, 3. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If that was to go there, that wouldn't work out. I reckon there. Let's see how right or wrong I am. There you go. And we've got 91 over 90. Excellent. You save natural diversity. One more, maybe. And this is... Oh, a bit different now. So we can make it rain. Hmm. That's curious. So... We can place this in... Around here. 
Mm, I'm not confident about this one because I'm not entirely sure on how these ones work. So we'll just place these like so. And then the bees. And then water. Ah, right. It think all right, okay, I think I know what's going on here. Reset, yes. So the water affects everything around it. Okay. I still think I've messed this one up. Yes, I needed to go one more. Okay. Reset, yes. So that can go there. But then where's the rain going to go? And do I need to get there as well? That would not work there. Not there. So I'm still a couple of tiles off. Twelve. Got it. Cool. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's been a bit of preserve. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, it's nice that there's different modes. That they've got the puzzle mode. And obviously you've got your medium sizing as well, which I'm guessing just starts off pretty big. And we've got a river now. I'm going to make it rain there. And I'm guessing river-wise, we can... Oh, is that a waterfall? Oh, and there's the river. And it flows down. Create. And then it's going to generate tiles around it. Oh, that's pretty good. I do like that. And it looks really nice, too. Oh, it's got... It's, bit, it's got, a, like, a very th sort of gelatinous floor, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Fair enough. I'm picking up what the game's putting down. And, yeah, there's a lot more stuff there as well. Um, we've got a, 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 a thing to make the river uh, so many tiles long. We've got this, like, lovely pond as well. That's really good. I like that. And I don't want to place these. It's definitely got it just one more, just one more, um, like, placement type of feel to it. Very much so. Uh, this is really rocky. Like that. Okay. So, I mean, I could just place things like that. And then I think we'll go with grassland down here. Maybe bees in there. Some forest area there. Yeah, okay. I, that, 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 that's a game that I can honestly see myself getting um, drawn into. But that's been a preview of the demo. Okay, yeah. I'm picking up what the game's putting down. I've played a lot of similar uh, sort of biome creation games with this uh, whole, like, it's all hex-based and such. But I like that you make the individual biomes and then place the animals, try and get that three of a kind. Uh, the river stuff's interesting. Be interesting to see what the savannah and marine is going to be. And the fact that there's other modes is always pretty good. Either way, exactly what a demo needs to do. Peak your one's interest. So, yeah, that's been a bit of preserve. If you like what you see, by all means, check the link out in the description. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions for what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments there. And if you want to see more, let me know too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.